Hey everyone, JCS Starcraft bringing you Game 4 of the 3rd place match between Tarson and Dimaga for the IEM Season 5. Uh, actually getting started here on Metalopolis and it looks like Dimaga going to be spawning as the Blue Zerg in the 12 o'clock position and Tarson going to be spawning in the <laughs> Good Luck Man, awesome, <laughs> from, uh, from both players as the Red Terran in the 6 o'clock position. So both players uh, across the map. I think this actually favors Demaga a little bit because that rush distance normally for Zerg is kind of painful and doesn't really allow, makes it more difficult for them to hold. Um, <laughs> both players very friendly and I, I, I love to see this uh, from the contestants. Right now they're going to be playing third place does earn $1,400 and fourth place is $900. So both players do make out with a good amount of cash for this tournament. Um, however, you know, obviously that extra $400 is going to be ever, going to be on the line. Right now, Demaga is up 2-1 in the series. And last game just really showed his dominance, had almost full map control and was ahead in the armor count almost the entire time. Tarson, unfortunately, a few minor misplays from him uh, made us lose his original, uh, his Mass Reaper army pretty early in the game. And right now, I'm curious whether or not he's going to Go ahead with that strategy yet again. Tarson now going to be throwing down his uh, his barracks at 12. Looks like 12 and 13. We could see either. But the way that he threw down his racks right now uh, doesn't look like he's... Unless he's going to lift off, doesn't look like the tech lab's going to go down. Might be going to... Might try to play something a little bit different differently this time. I am talking too fast. I'm going to slow down. But in the last game, Tarson went for that early command center. I think... Uh, he wasn't able to apply as much pressure as he wanted to with the Reapers. He's not, compared to Murrow, who does a fantastic job with the with the early Reapers out on the field, Tarson, I don't think, is as strong with those Reapers, so going to be opting for more standard play in this game, and I think either might be happy or might not be happy that his opponent isn't directly across from him, but in the cross position all the way across the map. So both players probably going to be playing uh, a bigger macro game at this point, which of course is more exciting to watch <laughs> for me as a caster. And now Marines are being pumped out. Looks like he is going to be going 1-1-1. Once that 100 gas starts getting in there, he's going to be throwing down his factory. And looks like, so hopefully we'll be seeing some interesting tech play against Dimaga. Dimaga, meanwhile, obviously is still going to be going with his speedling as early reapers always a problem on the map and always has to play safely against that so Tarson is going to be uh, throwing down his factory right now uh, going possibly 1-1 one -on -one or some sort of early Hellion Harass and Damaga I think maybe a little bit happier that his opponent is uh, across the map from him uh, hasn't been able to fully scout it out yet as his drone I think was maybe ran in and wasn't able to see it so hasn't even seen his opponent's base um, I think he does have an idea of where he is, but right now just happy to take his expansion and getting ready for that Reaper rush. But um, I think going to be happy to see that there were some Marines out instead. So Dimaga now just going to be taking his, his, his <coughs> taking his expansion without too much pressure in the early game and just going to be focusing on his macro for this game as well. Tarson doing the same and getting that starport down, completing the 1-1-1. One, one, one. Helen going to be coming out to try to do that harass him. Um, Helen's replace the the <clears throat> Helen's replace the early reapers and Demaga slowly calling his queen over just timing it so that he can uh, saturate the um, saturate the hatchery as soon as it pops out and probably we'll be seeing some early banshees from Tarson is my assumption uh, Helen's getting pushed out and Tech Lab is going down so we will be seeing that banshee play banshee and Helen trying to do as much harassment as possible and now Tarson going to be moving in with this lone banshee not uh, lone Helen I'm sorry not sure if it's going to be able to pull off enough damage with the queens here uh, just running straight into the base Tarson uh, Demaga at this point I'm getting names mixed up left and right Demaga at this point doesn't really have any units out on the field as he feels that he just wants to saturate his maintenance expansion. This Hellion looks like it's more of a scouting Hellion than anything else. Um, and will it, it, yes, able to get off just one one drone before it retreats. So um, able to at least pull off a kill. The Maga looks like, meanwhile, just going to be working on drone saturation. And possibly another queen might be detecting that his opponent is going to be going Banshees at this point. So might want to get another queen out there. Oh, he does have a, a, a few lings out on the field, and they're still just kind of 
out on the map trying to do their scouting and trying to poke around seeing what his opponent is up to not really able a uh, big enough force to push in at this point since this is choked off pretty well tank out for tarson um so first banshee is coming out is cloak going to be researched at this point not entirely sure uh might be researched but this banshee going to be coming out to apply some early pressure don't know how much he'll be able to do the queens are there the the creep is connected across the bases so the manga just going to be working on saturating pulling ahead in the economy tarson now going to poke in and see what he can do the queen is here though and oh the second queen has come up as well uh Demaga was able to spot it and already morphing in that overseer even though I don't think uh, Cloak is being researched by Tarson. So might be a strategy by Tarson just to pump out that, yeah, just to pump out that Banshee to get Demaga to commit to an overseer and possibly another queen. So good strategy here by Tarson as he's shifting away from the Banshees right away, uh, doesn't even research Cloak and just going to be uh, getting the medevacs to support his ground units. Uh, has tanks and really is trying to focus on I think a combination of a tank bio army right now which has served him well I think it it did a good job in the in the mid to late game against Hydra and so trying to do play his game the best that he can right now so a bunch of tanks going down onto the ground and going to be doing the switching over the starport so that he can get the <clears throat> kind of get the marauders out right now too didn't have a tech lap down on his first racks um, and just mostly tanks getting uh, saturating his expansion and just setting that up as well meanwhile it looks like the maga you know if, if you just let the maga go and not don't really give him pressure he's just going to expand and really just start taking control of his side of the map getting a few mutilists out these mutilists will probably force tarson to kind of stay in his base a little bit although tarson is ready does have the missile turrets up and um, Banshee was caught off guard right here going to be exploded Demaga at this point figures that his opponent has not gone with the cloak so that he probably doesn't need to defend against any more future Banshees in the air more uh, the the small task force of five Mulas now gonna be streaming across the map trying to poke in and see what pressure it can do if any so three Raxes and a single factory for Tarson who's just working on saturating and here come the Mulas trying to poke in and see Demaga trying to see what he can do. Pick off any buildings he can on the outskirts. Joining up with more Mulas on the outside. Uh, might be able to pick off this engineering bay as there's not much there. But these Marines are running in. They don't have Stim yet. Stim is currently being researched. So Demaga doesn't know that though and does see the Matavac there. Probably doesn't want to risk all his Mulas, Mulas going down at this point. But already, third hatchery already up and going to be pushing in yet again, <laughs> waiting for those uh, marines to retreat. And going to be taking out, I think, took out one of those SCVs. Unfortunately, Tarson is getting caught a little bit off guard there. Um, might want to throw down one more missile turret somewhere along the lines, but I think he's comfortable holding it off with his marines as Stim is about to finish, as well as plus one for his marines and just more tanks going down on the ground for Tarson. Demaga doing a great job keeping that harass up and really just keeping his opponent kind of focused on the on his base. Um, and coming down around, I don't think he scouted the expansion. Assumes his opponent has expanded, of course, because he already has three bases, so his opponent probably has two. And now sees the army composition for his opponent, tanks and marines with medevac support. Uh... Trying to get in here, trying to do some damage, but the missile turrets are very well placed by Tarson, and I think Tarson going to be using this time to push ahead, uh, keeping a few Marines back to try to take care of these Mulas in the air, but looks like he's going to be streaming his units across, and this is his timing attack, I think waiting for that stim to finish, as well as the plus one. Is he going to be retreating a little bit? Yes, oh, one of the tanks does go down, unfortunately, for Tarson, and Tarson, I think, uh, didn't realize the <laughs> how much damage these Mulas would do. And now going to be pushing in, trying to take out any expansion that he can of his opponent. Has already scanned and thrown down scan, has scouted that Demaga is taking it, taking the expansion here. Banelings, a ton of Banelings and Zerglings going to try to get in on the surround. Not a good position for Tarson at all. The Lings are going to come in on the surround and trying to micro his units away. Unfortunately for Tarson, this has been a, a massacre for him. And wow, just great job by Demaga to kind of sense when that was occurring. Getting that full surround on the units, forcing Tarson to retreat at this point. Stimmed Marines running away as best as they can. And all the tanks going down before they could establish. 
Tarson unfortunately overextended himself right there, um, which has, which time and time again has been bad, just bad luck for him. Um, last game, the Reapers overextended themselves, got caught, surrounded. In this game, all the tanks just kind of set up a little bit, uh, tucked away in the corner, which would have been good if uh, Demaga hadn't had seen that attack coming. So now Tarson trying to replenish uh, does do a good job uh, get, keeping up with Demaga at this point. It's only 117 over 103, a lot better job than the last game. Um, of course, Demaga, you know, losing a lot of those units because the Banelings did explode like crazy. But looking at the units lost tab, both players.